Today I'm going to talk about a kind of lost or abandoned film of John Waters called Dorothy the Kansas City Pothead. IMDb has a listing of it from 1968. This is very early in his filmography before all the movies, Mondo Trasho and Multiple Maniacs and all that stuff. This was the only John Waters project to ever be abandoned. Dorothy the Kansas City Pothead was basically John Waters' attempt at making kind of a Wizard of Oz movie or Wizard of Oz Gone to Pot. The Wizard of Oz is pretty surreal, so to me this sound doesn't sound like the greatest idea anyway, but he tried to make it and actually did about two days shooting it. Pat Moran was going to play Dorothy. Pat Moran is a big casting agent now, won an Emmy for Veep, also was a casting agent on most Baltimore productions from The Wire to Homicide. Uh, George Figgs uh, played Grassman, who I'm assuming was uh, the Scarecrow, and that's what it looks from the footage we have of this. And then Malcolm Soule was going to play the Wicked Witch. There is no footage of her playing the Wicked Witch, but they said they shot for two days and the footage we have looks like it was just from one day, so I'm not exactly sure if there's more footage that was lost. You kind of insinuate that because they have a third cast member listed and in all the descriptions and there's no footage of her. She's an interesting figure in that she was an original star of John Waters' early work. Um, like, she wasn't in that much stuff. She was kind of in uh, the real early stuff and she was kind of the star before Divine. She was in Eat Your Makeup and Roman Candles and never made it to the feature. She actually died of a drug overdose in Baltimore in 1968, so she didn't live much past this, unfortunately. These films just played in like the basement of churches and things like that from what I've heard from people who lived in Baltimore at the time. So she was as well known as you could be from that, although he was pretty well known, and this was even headlined in uh, the Baltimore Sun. He, he even drew up publicity for it, even though this kind of was falling apart while he was making it. He still did the publicity, and uh, the Baltimore Sun uh, had, had the headline, The Wizard of Oz Goes to Pot. He said the, the reporter never suspected that there wasn't even film in his camera when he was when he covered the making of the film. There's a photo of him like shooting the film and stuff like that. As I grew up in Baltimore and know that paper, they don't really cover the art scene as much as they used to, but at that time, John Waters was a little infamous in the paper uh, for his films and like various uh, troubles he'd get in while shooting his films. But he realized this wouldn't work because he's trying to do like sync sound from a tape recorder and film and it was near possible to make uh but um it's sort of an interesting project in that like i've seen eat your makeup and roman candles and hag in a black leather jacket but um this there's only about two minutes of footage you can find it on youtube and it was featured in the documentary divine trash and he talks about how it's his only really kind of like abandoned project it's kind of an interesting idea and uh much like I think the Diane Linkletter story, which is another short, which I also have reviewed, um, it kind of takes on a more salacious idea or kind of a celebrity driven idea and makes it um, into something that to kind of like ignite, you know, passions and controversy and things like that. I think the kind of fault in this is like you can't make the Wizard of Oz more on drugs. It's like pretty weird surreal movie you can't like be like it goes to pot i'm like you can already smoke pot during that movie and it'd be weird it's already kind of there so i think that kind of like i i i don't think it was the greatest idea it's kind of interesting to see the footage and see like maybe what could have been and it's actually in color most of these early shorts are not in color so it's kind of a different sort of thing and uh the idea that he has had his friends in a uh, weird costumes and stuff but this is kind of john waters only really like lost or abandoned project i think it was probably like for the best it wasn't john waters famously has a great quote about wizard of oz where he never understood why dorothy would leave Oz, um, he, she, he always thought like, you know, Oz is so, uh, so amazing. Why would you want to leave Oz to go back to Kansas? Like that seems so boring, which is a great quote, but, um, it's kind of sad that this was abandoned. Divine wasn't involved in this at all. Divine's not really involved in the early shorts till later. Um, and it is sad. We don't get to see like one of his early stars who's pretty much forgotten and not really thought of with him. I hope we get more of this footage just to sort of see what it was, but I don't think it should ever be like re- brought up or anything like that someone made a criterion-esque kind of like cover for it which is a little cute it's a bit of a joke other than that i think um it's probably best that this stays lost and abandoned and i think waters probably would like it that way it's all for the best that this is lost and abandoned and we'll never see what john waters wizard of oz would be but i think uh a wizard of oz at this time in his filmmaking career probably wouldn't even be that great and are you really ever going to be more surreal than the real thing Thank you.